this week's video, I'll be making sounds. We've got the bacon in the pan. Now the past week, I spent a lot of time playtesting the game and it became pretty obvious that there was something big missing. I don't want to make the same mistake that I always make of almost finishing the game without even considering which kind of sound design I want the game to have. So this week I'll be making five of the most commonly used sounds that will be in the game. Alright, so the setup I made here is just a fitness mat and it's on top of a, just a piece of cardboard on top of two chairs and hopefully this will kind of contain the sounds a bit and stop it from leaking out. Supposedly, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I'm not a sound designer. Alright, so the five sounds that I will make is a flesh impact sound a sword on sword impact sound, a sword on shield impact sound, a sword whoosh sound, and finally a sound for when you land on the ground. So let's get started. I'm gonna layer that with some wet rags in this plastic laundry thing. Finally, I'm just gonna need some kind of a hard impact kind of thing, so I'm gonna try to do it with this. And that's it for the flesh impact sound. Okay, so before I begin editing, a quick disclaimer. I'm obviously not an expert. On the contrary, this is actually the first time I tried to do something serious with sound design. And therefore, I'm not even sure that the sounds I'm making will even fit the style of the game. But hey, uh, this is all part of the learning experience, I guess. So if you're watching this and you have any advice, please, by all means, leave a comment and uh, let me know how I can improve. Okay, so with that out of the way, um, I actually recorded another sound. It was just a sound that I made with my mouth, uh, just to get a more juicier, softer impact that I can layer over the hard impact that I made. And these are all the sounds that I recorded. Alright, so I'll start by repositioning the sound so that they layer on top of each other. Then I'll just raise the pitch a bit of the first sound because it was drowning out all of the other ones. Lastly, I'll adjust the volumes and fade the sounds out, reposition them some more. And then I'll do the same thing with the two other variations. And this is how those sounds sound. Next sound, sword on sword. I'm gonna use the same things as I used for the flesh impact. Then I'm gonna layer that with the sound of these two. And finally, I'm gonna use this again to get that ringing sound that you'll hear after two metal pieces. Um, So without repeating myself too much, I'm gonna do the same things as I did with the last sound. I'm gonna position them on top of each other, change the pitch a bit and adjust the volumes. And again, I'll do the same thing with the other two variations. And now I'll just change the tempo to make them a bit faster.
Now I kind of have a bad feeling about these sounds. I don't think they sound at all like two swords clashing. Um, I think it's gonna sound pretty bad in the game, but I'm just gonna have to see. If it does sound bad, I'll probably remake them in the future. So for the sword on shield impact sound, I'm gonna use this thing that is the only piece of wood that I've got. I mean, it's not the only piece of wood. I'm gonna use a bag just to get some kind of a rumble sound. So here I think you can clearly notice that it's a small object being hit so I'm just gonna bring down the pitch a bit to try to make it more heavy and sound more impactful. And same thing for the rest of the sounds. Okay, so this is another sound that I'm not quite happy with. Uh, I think I need to find something else in the future, a bigger wooden object that I can hit to make it sound more like a shield. Next sound is a sword swoosh. I'm gonna use this piece of a tripod that I've stuffed some paper inside of to get rid of that hollow sounding pipe sound. I'm just gonna... I hope you like pain. So here I'll increase the tempo and boost the lower frequencies a bit. And the final sound that I'm gonna make today is the sound of the character landing on the ground, which is sand, and I don't have any sand, so I'm gonna have to think of something. First of all, I'm gonna use the pillow for that initial impact. For the actual sound of the sand, I'm gonna use three plastic bags. Kind of sounds like sand. So finally I'll just add a low pass filter to remove some of those higher frequencies because this is a sound that will be triggered all the time and I don't want the player to really pay that much attention to it. Now the only thing remaining is to see how these sounds will work in the game. Alright, so I'm not really sure what to think of these sounds yet, I'm gonna have to allow myself some time to play the game and then I'll either remake some of them or just leave them as they are, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.